biggest red flag that a man can have? If you're not talking to me a little bit crazy, then we can match. But if you, oh, princess this, princess that, I can't. I can't. I love that toxic shit. I love it. Five seven and handsome or six two and unattractive? Like how unattractive are we talking? Five seven, he's like a nine out of ten. Right. Six two, he's like a five or a six. Six two. Going six two. Uh, does height matter on a guy? What? Does height matter on a guy? Yeah. So how tall does he have to be? Well, six one. Six one? Am I six one? Uh, no. So I don't qualify? No. I don't have a chance? No. Cut this interview, get out of my face. Something you never told your ex. I've cheated on every one of my exes. Oh, wait, all of them? How many? All, and my husband included. She belongs to the streets. Who's more likely to get plastic surgery, men or women? Women. Is it fair for a woman to expect a guy to be completely honest when she has fake nails, fake hair, makeup, high heels, breast implants, etc.? No, I think those women are beyond bullshit. They go to the bar pretending completely fake and then they get home and like they take out their butt implants and their giant double d push-up bras and then they wipe their face clean and they turn into like this ogre that somehow miraculously i've seen makeup or, like tutorials that like they turned an ogre into a princess have you ever let a man on because you enjoyed the attention you received of course that's part of being a girl Okay, do you believe being- Okay, how many questions do we have here? This is why I can't have a girlfriend. She's literally in front of her boyfriend. I had to go through my 25 relationships before mm -hmm. being with Brandon. And I think also I remember like I was with so many different types of people that I think I really learned what I did and didn't like. And then I had this six month gap where I was alone for the first time that I had ever just genuinely like not been in, like been with anybody. Men and women equal? No. <laughs> yes. They're equal. If anything, women have more power. So women are superior. All right, Kendia. Yeah. Why, why is that? I feel like we go through a lot and we have equal to offer as men as well, overlooked, but now it's the era of women, so. Era of women, so yeah. like women rule the world? Yeah, we're, we're in our reigning era now. She can even give a valid logical answer as to why women are better than men. This is how you know that relationship that they're in is doomed. She's going to run him off a cliff, then she's going to leave him for a guy who respects himself. She's sitting on top of him in a dominant position, doing most of the talking, which means she's in control. So if you're in a relationship with a woman like this, or you're married or you have a situation, you're dating a chick who thinks that, oh, we're equal. No, she doesn't. She actually thinks that she's better than you because women don't operate on that mindset. She wants a guy who she views as superior. Now, she'll get with a weak beta male like that guy or like you who's like, oh, I'm just happy to have a girlfriend. I need some box. And women love those type of guys for so long. They're going to like, man, I'm craving a guy who's going to put it down, who's going to tell me to shut up, who's going to tell me stop talking, who's going to lay it down in the bedroom. And you can tell that she runs that and a lot of dudes think that well we are equal no you're not equal to a woman one person's in the head one person's following and if that's you following listen you are doomed and she's gonna run you right off a cliff i do like getting Never. spit in my mouth they'll ask <laughs> for them to spit in my mouth and then like i like you know open my mouth stick my tongue out they'll spit and i swallow it oh so much <laughs> asking someone to spit in your mouth is so fucking hot women are always good girls too bad Guys, when are we going to stop fucking lying on the internet? The truth is something that is consistent over a period of time over and over again. Women are always in love the most with the guy that they had to try to fix or the guy who fucking hurt her. Now, when we talk about a bad guy, society tell you a bad guy is a guy who focuses on himself. A bad guy is a guy who puts himself first. A bad guy is a guy who is selfish. A bad guy is a guy who's not giving everything to a woman. A bad guy is a guy who doesn't put a woman on a fucking pedestal. Name one woman who's doing all this shit. No, because women are only doing that shit to the guys who act like that.
When are you going to be honest on the fucking internet, dude? You, you're, you're basically duping all these good dudes out here and they're fucking crying on the internet. Is dating a single mother so hard for men? Let's talk about it. Why? Ugh. Okay, coming from perspective of a child of a single mother, I'm going to say two things that's going to make y'all hot, but I don't really care. These men don't want the baggage that comes along with a single mother. They want the mother. They probably think she's fine, she's pretty, she on her stuff. She just got them damn kids. Why is sex typically the first thing that's withheld when women don't get what they want? Manipulation. What does that say about what women actually contribute to a relationship? I mean, it, that doesn't mean shit. Sex doesn't mean shit about what Well, once again, if it didn't mean anything, why would it be the first thing that's withheld? Manipulation. It's just a manipulation. It's a tactic. It's the easiest one to bring. Women use sex as leverage against weak men. They withhold it from you. They use it as a reward, as a bargaining chip. They'll say, you have to do this for me, and then we can have sex. Or we have to get to know each other. Let's just take it easy. Let's take it slow. Or I got a headache. Or you can come over my place, or I can come over your place. We can watch movies. Uh, but I don't want to do anything physical. That's because she's trying to control you, number one. And number two, she doesn't think that you can replace her. She actually views you as weak. She views you as a beta male. So you have to put your foot down. You have to show these women, listen, I'm not the one to be played with. And if she wants to withhold sex and play these games, and I don't feel like doing it. Trust me, she's lying. Every woman is freaky. Every woman has a high sex drive for the guy that she respects, number one, and who turns her on. And you're just not that guy, so you get rid of her. And if a woman doesn't feel as though, man, I'm going to lose this dude, uh, trust me, she's going to play these silly games. She's going to try to bleed you dry. She's going to try to drain you of your resources, your time and attention, and she's going to just string you along. Women love to punish weak men. Don't allow them to withhold it from you. Even if you think that, oh, she just has a headache, she's lying. Or she just doesn't feel like it, she's lying to you. I'm telling you, get rid of her. I don't know if I feel like talking to these dudes that are so freaking horny all the time it's like do you ever sleep do you eat is there a time that you feel anything but horniness no no like thanks appreciate the compliment feeds my ego but at the same time give it a fucking rest good god read the bible put a finger down if you had a great thing going with a guy for about two to three weeks and then you realized how much you liked him and you freaked out so you decided to ghost him and then for the next month you were thinking about how you messed up and that it could have been something really great so you decided to give him another chance and so you swallow your pride and decide to message him first which you've never ever ever done ever for a guy and instead of him being happy that you decided to talk to him again he decides to be super petty and reply to you every 12 hours gotcha bitch and now you have the biggest egg and you don't want him anymore i am literally getting so tired of being good enough to fuck but not good enough to date like i know she's like she's good and so is she but like so so is she like i have such a good heart and i'm loyal as fuck and like i won't hurt you and all of these emotionally unavailable men are driving me motherfucking crazy it's annoying here's what women like her and most modern women won't tell you about emotionally unavailable men those guys are attractive. There are multiple notches above them on the sexual market value. So for example, if a guy is an eight out of 10, he'll have sex with a woman who's a six or even a five, multiple notches down, but he won't commit his time, resources, and energy into her. He won't take her on dates. And these women, they're getting pumped and dumped, ran through. I told you guys, they're lonely. Yeah, they're getting piped every single day of the week, but they can't seem to get that guy to commit. So they think that, well, I'm just special. Why can't this guy just want to be with me and make me his girlfriend? I'm giving him top. I'm giving him my wet box. Isn't that good enough? No. And these women don't understand. Listen, you're not that attractive. You're unappealing. The guy that you really want, you just don't qualify for. He has options. And all these females think that I'm going to keep sleeping with this guy. I'm going to keep hooking up with him. And eventually, he's going to see how great of a person I am. It's kind of like a nice guy saying, I'm going to keep uh, doing all these different things for this woman. I'm not going to uh, demand sex. I'm going to take her out here. I'm going to beat her shoulder to cry on. She, eventually, she's going to see that I'm a great guy. No, she's not. She's going to keep hooking up and having sex with that bad boy, the dude that turns her on. So, guys, all these females, trust me, they're alone. They're confused and they're wondering, why can't I keep a good man? He doesn't want to take me out. He want to do this. He, don't, he just comes over at 11 p.m. He doesn't text me throughout the day. That's because you're not his type to settle down with. You don't financially turn him on. 
Excuse me, sir? How you doing? You hey. look like a hard-working man. I was wondering yeah. if you have a girlfriend. No, I don't. What's up? So I haven't had a kiss in a while, and I was wondering if I could taste your kisses. I'm going to lock up. Hold on. Can I get a 360 first? Oh, yeah, come sit on my lap. Come sit right I'm you. sorry, sir. I was talking about... Yo, 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 no sitting on lap. <laughs> you wanted no. her to sit on your lap? Why y'all playing with me like bro, that, bro? it's mon monkey paws. You shouldn't want no... I didn't want a real kiss. She didn't want a real, real one. Kiss. Just this. Just, no, I wanted no, to no, taste these kisses. Kiss. Kiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs>